Okay, this video uh, I'm going to show you how I got my ProPresenter 7 to change uh, my Light Key app with uh, using MIDI notes. So, <clears throat> um, first thing that you want to do is go to ProPresenter and then go to Preferences and uh, go over here, hit the Device tab, and you want to set up a, uh, a MIDI device and you do that by hitting the add device button down here and then hitting MIDI and um, you can name it whatever you want. Um, auto reconnect is when you turn ProPresenter on it will automatically try to reconnect the MIDI device and then hardware you can leave at um, core MIDI device and then behavior device and then destinations you just need to select light key input. That's all you need to do. I'm gonna delete that because um, I already have one right here. There's the settings. Um, so I'm gonna hit back and connect. And if you see the green light, you're good to go. So then um, that's what you need to do to be able to send MIDI notes from ProPresenter. And then if you go to um, Light Key, this is a little complicated. Um, go over to preferences and under ProPresenter 6, you would come under here under external control and there'd be a little button for you to check box for you to select here under MIDI ports and you could select your um, your ProPresenter 7 for, for input. Um, there's nothing that shows up here and this really threw me off for quite a while, um, but ignore this, hit close and um, what you're going to want to do is open up your window and go to external control here and um, i have set up some manual midi controllers here and you can um, add another one by hitting the plus button which is not intuitive it looks like you're adding something to this midi note but it's not you are creating a new one um, or you can delete the one you're on by hitting the uh, minus button. So, or if you had auto create, if you are sending a MIDI note that like he doesn't understand, it'll automatically create one in there, which is helpful if, uh, if you wanna do it backwards by um, creating the MIDI note here and then firing it and then going over here and then just adding what it is here. So. Um, for my settings, uh, I use the activate Q. Um, you got to use this one. You got to activate cues, um, and then you uh, you select the cue that you want to use. Like I have four of them here, and then um, you can use you put it on toggle. So the other thing you need to do is make sure in your um, control. Uh, control panel here. Um, all you need to do is click on edit and make sure these are all touching. If they are not touching like this, um, it's not going to work. And one will stay on and then it won't turn off when you fire the cue. It was super confusing. So keynote, make sure these are all touching. So um, another thing we can do here is if we go back up to window, external control, um, light key support told me that when ProPresenter fires a, uh, a MIDI note or when any, any system fires a MIDI note, um, light key will confirm what the MIDI note is by highlighting it over here. So you can leave this open as verification that your ProPresenter is actually sending the note if you're having problems or you can use the, um, the MIDI, uh, MIDI monitor, which is something uh, that um, this app right here, which is an app that um, ProPresenter suggests to use, which will actually trace your, uh, your MIDI notes. So here's how you create them. Go, uh, go to a slide and uh, right click, and you wanna go to add add action right here and then communication and then MIDI and then MIDI note on 
and then um, all you do is pick a note um, and then uh, it doesn't even matter what the intensity is so you can leave it at zero so um, I just created a second one so I'm gonna remove the one I just created um, but I'll show you the mini note I created here uh, this one is set to C2 intensity 127 um, edit action MIDI note on uh, C sharp to 127 so I have set all my intensity to 127 which if you're having a glitch maybe you want to try that um, and then this one is D2 and then you can see over here here's C2 C sharp 2 and D2 for the notes and then I plugged in all of those so here is it functioning uh, click on this one fires all red and you can tell everything's in blue over here so it's confirming the note and then click this next one which is blue there it is highlighted and then this one which is pink or magenta which again is highlighted here and then uh, just to show you the MIDI monitor um, here in order for this to work, you have to tell it to spy on like key input. And so um, I'll just click again, C2, C sharp 2, and that's blue. And then the D2, pink. And then we'll go here. And there, you see them registering. So we'll fire uh, C2 again and you'll see it show up there down at the bottom. So I hope that was uh, helpful. It took me forever to try to figure this out. So I hope that uh, helps you out. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to help you out.